As Yennefer of Vengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. A witcher? Did the villagers hire you? Whatever you're planning, plan's gotta change. I can't, won't, let you hurt these people. I'm not here to hurt anyone except that scoundrel Bertram. Came to me on Beckons a half year back. Said he betrayed he was worth looting for a share in the takings, of course. But some time on, the bugger grew greedy. He wanted more. I refused. That's when he set the witch hunters on us. Lost half me men because of him. Now step aside, Witcher. This ain't your affair. We want Bertram, no one else. Give my word. Don't care much what you say. Take your men and get lost, or there'll be blood. Oh, there'll be blood either way. You just ensured there'll be more of it. she was a werewolf. Well, I mean, we wasn't altogether sure ourselves, but that's a good thing. It's what witches are for, isn't it? Killing monsters. Thanks for your help. This here's well earned.
Greetings. Glad to take. Of course, please. Stock in all, no need to. <sighs> Very good. Let me have a. my friend oh. see you dandelion
Got a minute? See you, Dandelion. It's you, the White Wolf, the famous Geralt of Rivia, am I right? You hear about me? Hear about you? Why, I know all there is to know. <laughs> I learned it from Dandelion himself, who's forever telling stories of you and your adventures together, of your hunt for the dragon, and how you outfoxed the silver midst the hemp of the battle for the bridge, and how he saved you from bandits. I'd like to hear that one sometime myself. One never tires of Dandelion's tales and ballads. Why, all will be amazed when I tell them the wolf himself takes joy in listening to them. Now, tell me how I may be of service. Something to wet your tongue? What do you have to drink that's good? Under old Mr. Wiley. Why no? I answered a notice. What did it say? Help wanted to assist in the oversight of an exclusive establishment with refined diversions. Baccalaureate freshly gained, ten years of tavern experience, a plus knowledge of the common tongue, elder tongue, and contemporary poetry required. Huh. Wouldn't you have been better off staying at the academy, or? Oh, I never passed the entrance exam. Neither do I know a lick of Elder, though I can indeed play a ditty or three. <laughs> also, I've committed all Master Dandelion's works to memory. Ah, I see.
should not have come to the city. What's new, killer? Bailiff's a harsh man. Best not cause Be any trouble with the grow robust and free. Thanks for the invite. Congratulations. Quite a win of the Vagal Buds. Luke's one hell of a prick, but I don't recall him ever losing before. And seeing as you outran him, you actually stand a chance at Palio. Make some real coin. Fine, I'll race. Lovely. Colour me thrilled. Just don't bloody let me down, because I'm about to bet a small fortune on you. Go prepare. Drink some chamomile or whatever the fuck you do. The Palio is above all a race of honour. The winner doesn't just win a reward, he earns our respect as well. So, take your positions and get the fuck going. Come on. Slow now. Great fuck. Could have whittled myself a jockey out of birch, stained him with piss, and he would have done better than you. Shit happens. Oh, you sure fucking do. That's business. Sometimes you kick the cow, sometimes it kicks you. Temple God! Scatter! I'm fucking done here. Stay out my way for a while.
White Wolf. What? Could use a few potion. So long. Faster. Buy in or just put Show me what you So long. Don't eat so much. Why the spit up? Because if you get hit in the gut and those turns get tangled in your entrails. Almost like that.
Would you like to buy something from me stash? Maybe. Let me see what you got. So long. I want to fight. Gran, tell me when you're ready. Tournament rules. What are they? The fighters are both upstarts seeking to prove their grit and brawn and courage, and old hands just looking to keep the rust at bay. You get similar bouts in Novograd and Velen, but those are glorified tavern brawls, you ask me. This here's a minor festival. Might fight some other time. See ya. I wanna fight. Grant. Ready to fight any time. Like to have some words with the Outlander first? It's about my Erica. See her? I... I gotta win today. She's watching. I don't stand a chance against you. I know it well. But I was thinking, maybe you'd let me win. Listen, if I lose on purpose, we'll both regret it. Believe me. But it's Erica we're talking about. You don't understand a thing. Enough of this chatter. Fight! By the rights of mortals and... Keep together! <laughs>
Honor and glory are his! You've two bouts more before you can challenge for the title of best in Skellige. You've got to defeat Einar, to be found on Pharaoh, and one Grim of Helmstein, a village on Ard Skellig. Good luck to you. Wrong as he looks. Uh-oh. Why are you here? Can you switch eggs? This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and luxury. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. Glamour. Scent of lilac and gooseberries, even with the lid on. Taste hasn't changed. Saya de Vries, the poison source, still turns to it for inspiration. Her megascope? Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes, deeply personal possessions. Just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? You're looking in. Let's nurse some meat at the tavern. Who's in there? 
next move. Got one word. Bollocks. Hey. We are Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me, but on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. Why am I not surprised? Oh, Geralt. Geralt, what is that you're wearing? Didn't want to detract from your beauty. A man at a woman's side is an accessory. He should enhance her beauty. But I thank you for the compliment. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Yes? So, what have you brought for the farewell feast? Bread, mm. sheep's milk cheese. Oh, yeah. Our wagon's full of loot we ripped from the black ones. We've also wine from the temples of Melitoli. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Mm -hmm. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crime. We wanted to talk to Krak on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? 
That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates. Allow me the dubious honour. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Forgive me, I remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. Crack, her da, and her big brother Yalmer call a Sparrowhawk. A Yal's daughter she is. Fat lot of good it does her. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak, Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. And it likely happened to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. 
You shall learn all beyond that door. Do you have a ship? Shame? Why would I? You see in the beast Tell me, Lugos. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Dona and Hinda, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plough your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Calm down, Lugos. No wench will teach me how to fight. That was not my intention. Come, Geralt. I believe this discussion's run its course. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. We shouldn't be breaking into Ermion's workshop. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you needed to grow a pair. But I know that you simply enjoy complaining. It's the only reason you said that. Why would we go there? To retrieve an item. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it and therefore must steal it. <laughs> right. Of course. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct.
hide behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws caw. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Grass peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All ah, right, nightingales croon. This'll be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermian spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. can render a man mysterious, fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. A hundred loose an arrow if he saw that in the woods. alive. Had one at Care More and <laughs> please. Basin of water. For teleprojection, a reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Ah. 
you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals. They're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. I can feel them. They're everywhere. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morhen finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. Had one at Kaer Morhen. <sighs> Please. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlow. A biography in... Letter bearing Ermian's seal to the druids. Warns them about you. That brazen manipulator. <laughs> The shameless schemer. Seems Ermion has real tobacco brought in. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. The statue's hand looks like it should be holding something. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. A child's skull. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial Alchemist. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. Dwarven Triple Mead. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female.
Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm, guess you're no indecisive prince. Why do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, nothing. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh, seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. Geralt, come here. I found the mask. This is it. We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before... Careful now. will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. a needle.
Wait. For what? We must talk to Krach. Why? Think he misses us? Because I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> when are you gonna finally burn this piece of junk? My heart couldn't take it. So many memories. Damn it, Geralt. Do you have any idea how much they cost? Come here. We gotta hurry. Kroch's waiting. Is that so? Yen, yeah, let go of the mane. I know you. I let go. You throw us off. <laughs> Don't even try. My, oh my. Missed you. I missed you too. We ought to get back to the wake. I must dress. Turn around. Kraken created asked about you. We went out. For a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. Now heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. And we'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond, and must now choose his successor. A king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. We've no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forward. son could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. May the best man a woman win. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her of. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. 
Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres... They're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble. And you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Need your help. Ciri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. Give my permission to investigate as you see fit. Wondering if I should talk to Ermion. Leave that to me. Go. Seek and find your Cyrilla. If any ill befell her here, an odd skellic on my watch, I'd never forgive myself. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udalric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorachir and Arts Gellig. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmor decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Undvik, then travel on foot to Oscar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Hjalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother, yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. 
A good number. Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an Ilfgaardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later. Talk. Any news of Yalmar? His venture going well? Nah. Tempted after all, eh? If you're itching to join him, it might not be too late. Hmm. Maybe I should visit Unvik. Ask at the new port. Clan Todorok survivors lie around there. They refuse to hunt the giant, but they're willing to talk. Sorry, remind me. Where'd Ceres go? Speakerog. Got it in her head that she must help Uderic. How? I have the same question. He's a brave man. Some say hot-tempered and hasty, but... If Ceres wanted glory, she'd have done better to sail with Yalmar. As it is, who knows what ideas bat about in her head. What's new in Skellige? Of late... Look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. See ya, Crack. <laughs>